so yesterday we had done the non uh, the the uh, ideal solutions and the non ideal solutions in the non ideal solutions we had seen those solutions which had which had positive deviation from the rolls law right now we now we come to the to the so so the first was the positive deviation right and the second is the negative deviation okay now it is exactly on the same pattern as we had done on the for the positive deviation uh, solutions the negative deviation thing does what what happens you have you have the negative deviation that means whatever you are whatever you are predicting from the rolls law the the observed pressure will be less than that fine now how is that possible that is possible when a b interactions are stronger are stronger than the a a and the b b interactions correct if it is stronger than that so what happens if in the solution form they are held more tightly then their tendency to to escape from the from the from the bulk of the liquid becomes less and that is the reason why the vapor pressure will be less than what you are predicting it to be correct the tendency of the molecules in the solution state to escape into the atmosphere <coughs> becomes less thus the vapor pressure is less than that predicted by the rolls law by the rolls law okay so as we had seen yesterday okay so this is obviously a straight line okay okay now what happens what you get is is something like this and that must have happened because as they start going into the solution state they deviate like that hope you understand this has may this has started passing through this maybe not 
maybe it won't so let us say to show all the lines clearly okay fine now what's an example the mixture of phenol and aniline okay so example is example is phenol plus aniline hope you know what aniline is and also phenol fine so so what is what is phenol this is phenol right and how about aniline Fine, that's aniline. So they are negative deviation. That is number one. Number two is chloroform plus acetone. Okay. And why so? What is chlor chloroform? It is CHC. Mm -hmm. CHCl3 and what is acetone? CH3CO CH3 right now what happens when they come together when they come together okay this is how it goes And then you have this is acetone, and you have chloroform. So, so you have CHCl3. Hmm? So what happens? Cl being highly electronegative, that withdraws a lot of lot of electron cloud. Since there are three of them. So it, it 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 takes out a lot of cloud cloud electron cloud from electron cloud from the 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 carbon atom out here and and since this becomes deficient this withdraws a lot of lot of cloud from here so what happens this becomes del plus and this is this is uh, due to one more reason why because because these uh, these these uh, these alkyl groups they are they are electron donating groups they are edgs electron donating groups fine so they push they push their electron clouds on this okay you understand and oxygen which is already electronegative highly electronegative that pulls it from carbon even if they were these pushers were not there still it would have taken away taken away electron cloud from carbon and these things are which will actually determine what reactions will happen right what reactions will will take place so so it forms a hydrogen bond so the moment it comes into the solution state this hydrogen bonding is responsible for the stronger AB interaction. The hydrogen bond, the hydrogen bond between CHCl3 and CH3COCH3 is responsible for stronger. 
A B interactions. A B interactions, right? Correct? Fine. Now, what is going to happen as a result of that? So, I come to point C. What is going to happen? If the, if the bonds are stronger, what do you think will happen to delta V? What will happen to delta V? It will be less than 0, right? The final volume will become lesser than the sum of the initial two volumes. Why? Because of the tightening of the molecules, right? They, 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 they pull each other more strongly. So the volume will shrink. Okay, and what happens to delta H? What happens to delta H? No, less than 0, greater than 0, what? It will be less than 0. Why? Why? As I had discussed earlier, you break the two bonds AA and BB. What happens? What happens? No, you require energy to break the bonds. So you will require energy. It will form two AB bonds with stronger bond energies, higher bond energies. What does that mean? So that will release a higher amount of energy. So you are consuming less, you are releasing more. So in effect, you are releasing, right? So that is exothermic. Exothermic is, exothermic is delta H less than 0. Understand? Okay. Fine.